So let's be honest, when we think of tablets, the very first thing that comes to our mind is iPads, and it makes sense. Ever since 2010, when the very first iPad was released, that's when the tablet market pretty much was introduced to the world. And ever since, iPads have dominated the segment. But manufacturers with Android OS and even Linux devices have come out in the recent past. Now, we're looking at some new generation of tablets, and we'll see if these new generation of tablets can compete with the iPad and maybe even offer a better value. And today, we're looking at the Lenovo P11 with the keyboard and stylus. So this is the Lenovo Tab P11. This is the 2023 edition with the keyboard and the pen accessories all together. And just for some specifications, this comes with a quad-core processor. This is an Android tablet, so a direct competitor with Apple. And of course, this comes with 128 gigabytes of internal storage and four gigabytes of RAM. You can see that, but let's get straight into the unboxing and see what we have in the box. We have a tab here that we're gonna pull off. And I think there is another tab on the side. We're gonna pull that one off as well. And I don't think there are any more tablets. So let's lift this up. So first impressions unrelated to the device. The box isn't as agile and as smooth as an Apple <laughs> tablet box, but you know, they really set the standards really high. So let's put this to the side here. And immediately, first thing we see is the actual tablet. Uh, we're gonna go into this later. I wanna see what the accessories look like first. So opening up the box here, it's really simple. Um, pull all of this out. So this in here is a keyboard. So uh, if you guys have ever used a Lenovo laptop in the past, um, you'll notice that the keypad and the keys uh, on this are very similar to the laptops. So they are very consistent in their keyboards and it's something that I knew getting this device. So put that to the side and of course, um, which is very cool of them and not uh, often this comes with tablets is a protective keyboard cover. So, and I'm assuming this is gonna be uh, connected to the laptop or the tablet as well as a keyboard. So this is very, very cool, just extra protection. Um, a lot of other tablets don't typically provide this in an all-in-one. We have a tablet guide, put that to the side. We have a, interestingly enough, this is a GSM version. So we have a SIM card on locker and set that to the side. And of course, this is the stylus. And my first impressions of this is that it is not completely cylindrical. So it does have ridges like a pencil and it feels a lot more comfortable than a typically round stylus that you'll find. And there are two buttons here. We're gonna find out exactly what these buttons do, but this is actually a, it, it, I mean, you may not be able to hear it. I'm gonna put this to the mic here, but this feels almost like an aluminum base stylus. So it has some weight to it, but it's not too heavy. So. Really cool stuff. Let's see what else we have in here. In here we have a, looks like a USB-C to a USB 3.2. Yep, USB-C cable. That's nice that they provided that. And of course we have a USB 3.2 charger. So I am a little disappointed. I was really hoping for a USB-C charger, um, but uh, I believe this will have to do. Here is the tablet cover. And of course you have a nice little Lenovo design over there. And this is the cover here. So I'm gonna take the plastic off this. Very, very, actually quite rigid. And it has a bit of a softer grip. And you can see that, yes, while you will have some sort of fingerprints, they disappear immediately. So you don't have to constantly wipe these things down. So super duper cool. And this is the P11. So Right off the bat, this is a very, very slim device, as you can tell. 
um, just perfect size for a tablet in my opinion. This is very comparable to the iPad Air and even the connectors are similar. So this is where the keyboard uh, will connect to. So on the side, we have a USB-C port, which is excellent. And you have speakers on both the bottom as well as the top. So these are quad speaker layouts. And the very interesting thing, and I love it, they still have a headphone jack. So very, very cool. On the top right here, you have the volume rocker buttons. And here is where you have a uh, micro SD uh, slot. And on the back, you do have a camera and that's about it. And interestingly enough, this is Dolby Atmos sound. So I'm assuming this is gonna be very uh, good sounding speakers. We're gonna test it out and see how well it is. So next up, we're gonna get this thing charged up and we're gonna do an initial impression with the setup as this is my very first time ever using an Android based tablet. Ever since iPads were out in 2010, it's always been Apple. So let's see how the first impressions are and we'll go from there. All right, guys, the setup is complete. And as you saw, it's quite easy. It's like setting up any Google device as it is running Android. First impressions is, as you can see in the back, you can see my reflection. It's a very glossy display, but in real world and probably some of the video that you're seeing right now, the colors are actually quite vibrant. Now, the layout is similar to an iOS. It will take me some time to get used to the Android system, but so far, everything seems to be running pretty smooth. The display is actually very, very crisp. It may not seem crisp because I'm re uh, recording this video at 24 FPS, but I believe that this is a high refresh rate screen. I will post the screen resolution as well as the screen specs down below. But so far it's very, very intuitive. And this keyboard is actually just absolutely amazing. <laughs> of course I must have opened something up, but um, other than that, I, all I can say is that so far the initial impressions is this thing is pretty, pretty cool. And the other thing I want to say is the stylus is a stylus. So it's not a smart pen. So what I mean by that is it uses a magnet with the screen. So you don't actually have to, uh, have to worry about charging this thing. So that is a pretty convenient option with this device. So I'm going to get a few more things set up. I'm going to run some tests and we'll see how well this thing fares with basic use. All right, guys, so my immediate impression of this uh, P11 is actually I'm very, very surprised and happy with the way that the keyboard works. But I think my favorite thing is that the trackpad actually works like a trackpad. And you can actually disable it by just hitting Control shift t and Control shift t again to enable it. But having the luxury of using a trackpad instead of having to always swipe on left to right, up and down, not only saves from a lot of fingerprints, but I feel like you actually get the productivity of a laptop of this pretty portable device. The only issue I've had so far is that the delete key is right above the backspace. So I have a tendency to hit the delete key, but that is just preference and something that I'll have to get over. 
Other than that, I'm going to show you a quick example of the video. Um, I'm going to play a YouTube video and I'll let you guys determine how you like the audio. Remember, I'm recording this on the iPhone, so it's not a professional grade microphone, but I think the audio is quite great with the quad speakers. WM3CS. This supposedly is the ultimate version of the M3 CS, so the magic BMW add to their cars when it's sort of the final edition with all the trick bits on it and usability. Think back to M5 CS, and there's been several variants of M3 CS. Other than that, I will say so far, this tablet has been pretty responsive. I was a little hesitant with just the four gigabytes of RAM, but uh, everything seems to be doing quite good. And I wanna say that my most used app uh, across all systems, Windows and MacBook is Notion. Notion is a productivity app. I use it pretty much to um, organize all my YouTube videos and plan them ahead of time. And this seems to be working pretty damn well. And I would say that this is not the most demanding app, but it is pretty cumbersome when it comes to some devices. Uh, and this tablet has been doing it without any issue whatsoever. So I will say everything is good so far. There are certain times where there is a bit of a, a lag and delay. And I think that Apple has really set the standard so high. So I really don't want to um, put this down. I, I want to use this for a full week. Um, pretty much just use it as my main tablet to understand what the pros and cons of this device are. But so far, the initial impressions is just with the keyboard alone, uh, the Lenovo st uh, styled keyboard, it's pretty phenomenal. So guys, I'll be doing a full review. Um, I'll probably try and compare it to the new iPad. There's rumors that the new 10th generation base model iPad will be releasing. And in the price point, this is similar. And I'll, I'll let you guys determine whether or not if this is worth your money. Um, especially at the price that they're charging. So other than that, uh, I will be posting the video in about a week or two. So stay tuned for that. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing so far. And I will see you in the next time. Peace.